with cheats turned off. So you know that everything you see in today's video is 100% real and legit. Reports claim long-legged Steve is created when a player's data is cloned into two. So to prove it exists, I have to clone myself in survival Minecraft. How am I supposed to do that without cheating? I geared up and started experimenting. Attempt one at experiment number one. Now my theory here is if I force quit the game at the exact perfect time as I travel through this nether portal, maybe I can trick the game into creating a clone of myself here in the overworld while I'm actually in the nether. All right, we have to get this perfect. All right, ready? And the minute it says loading, quit the game. It's going black. Oh my gosh, my screen's just gone black. Did I just break the game? Okay, it crashed. Let's find out if it worked. Come on. It's loading. Please don't tell me the world's corrupted. Please, please, fingers crossed, please. Yo, I'm in the nether. Which means my clone should be in the overworld. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the biggest brain, I'm the biggest brain. Bro, we're about to prove if long-legged stuff is real right now, right here, and it's not here. Yep, all right, well, I probably shouldn't have victory danced before actually seeing it. <sighs> we're not giving up yet, though. I tested every possible way to glitch the game that I could find on Google. Attempt 24 for experiment number five, the end pearl teleportation machine. As you can see, if I throw an end pearl straight down this water column, that soul sand is going to keep it bouncing on the surface and I don't get teleported. But the minute I hit this button, what bam, I'm right there. So my theory is if I have two end pearls, then I should get teleported at the same time but since that can't happen, it'll glitch and create a clone of myself. <laughs> now I'm certain I'll figure it out with this one. All right, Pearl one, jump over this side, straight down to Pearl two. Now we need to make sure they are both floating in exactly the same spots, right? They're the same levels. Yeah, that one just needs to come down a little bit lower. All right, moment of truth. Three, two, one, bop. Come on, clone. No, okay, well, didn't get teleported. Just got teleported to this side. Yep, yep. <laughs> ah, nothing worked and I was just about to give up when this happened. As you can see, I have been trying everything I can possibly think of. So I guess now we're just looking for settings that can somehow allow me to clone myself because it clearly can't be done in vanilla Minecraft. What's this? Controls how far from the player the chunks and entities are being updated. Wait a minute. In the latest update, Minecraft added a new setting, simulation distance. I could throw an end pearl, leave and rejoin the game and thus trick the world into loading my old player data as a clone. Now, I've been doing this for a couple of my experiments now. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I've been changing my skin to Steve since, well, it's long-legged Steve, so it kind of makes sense that the clone is Steve. It probably doesn't make any difference, but just in case, I'm doing it anyways. Now I just go to options, video settings, and take our simulation distance to the lowest setting, five chunks. So I think what that means is as long as I throw this end pearl further than five chunks, it shouldn't teleport me. Let's give it a go. Bop. Come on, come on. Wait for it. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, <laughs> it actually works. All right, so now we just leave and I gotta change my skin. And I am back as EY Street. Yes, yes, we did it, we did it, we did it! <laughs> Woo! All right, I know I'm too hype. I'm probably cringe right now, but honestly, I've been trying so long. We managed to clone myself. How is that even possible in Minecraft? I just don't understand, but it's just regular Steve. Shouldn't it be like long-legged Steve? Unless the myth is actually Cap, right? I, I don't understand, but it's real, the clone. Where'd it go? Why'd it disappear? Uh, guys? Uh, where did it go? Okay. Did it, was it because I got too close? Maybe it's something to do with the simulation chunks. We turn them back up. If it was just a normal glitch, then maybe it just despawned because the game figured out that it wasn't supposed to exist. Or look, I know I'm stretching, but could that be an ability of long-legged Steve? I do have an idea. I can't currently use tab to see who's on the world, but if I open the world to land, still survival and cheats turned off, we can see if any like entity or player or whatever joins the server, right? Anything? There's like a blank space there. That's weird. Uh, guys, okay, wait, let's check who's on the server. Steve, I knew it, I knew it. He's, he's on the server. And so he never left. 
but that's not long-legged Steve. It's just regular Steve. Like, look at the face. It's, that's not long-legged Steve unless they have some sort of connection. To prove this theory, I had to find him. But where? Now, inside this folder are all the files from the world we were just playing on. And what we need to know is, are those files smaller than 500,000 kilobytes? Fortunately, we've got date modified and file type, but size is empty. Why is that? Okay, we can still figure this out if we grab all the files on the inside of that folder and turn them into a single file, a zip file, it will give us the size. And that there is less than 500,000 kilobytes. It's only 272,000 kilobytes, which means long-legged Steve has only traveled in the chunks that I have explored so far which should narrow our search area. Now, the downside to having cheats turned off is I can't use teleportation commands. So I'm going to have to search the area manually. So I'm gonna use a bunch of maps to make sure I don't cover the same area multiple times. I searched every corner of every chunk, but I couldn't find any other players until I looked back at my replay footage. Guys, I was just editing this video and I didn't notice this before, but take a look. Seems like a normal shot, right? Well, take a little bit of a look closer. You guys see that? Right there. Long-legged Steve. <sighs> if I had known about this on the day I was recording the video, I would have never done what I ended up doing. I I don't get it. Look at how much area I have searched and I haven't even found a clue of long-legged Steve. So maybe he just isn't real. I've got one more map, but that's literally the area I'm standing in. So I'm not expecting... You, you're seeing... Guys, wait. There's another, there's another player marker on the map and Steve is still in the world. Could this be Steve? Could this be long-legged Steve? I don't know, but we're about to make a grab bag of discovery, boys! Right, he's got to be right over here somewhere, right? Well, that sword could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. Wait, where is he? Wait, hold up. Let's check the map again. Check the map. Huh? Huh? What? He's the same distance away from me that he was before. But he's not moving now. Wait, if we move... What? God. He, he's... Is the map glitched right now? What? What's going on? No matter where I look or walk... He copies my every move. I mean, I guess that could make sense since long-legged Steve is a clone of me, but how are we supposed to prove he's real if we can't ever actually reach him? That doesn't make much sense at all. I'm like, big brain, big brain, big brain. I can impel towards him. So, okay, we just need to get in the clear spot where my impel will definitely fall. Okay, right there. Perfect. Okay, he's in the open. So we just have to get over the trees. We can get to him, ready? And bang. Come on, we figured it out. Bang, where is he at? Wait, it should have been right. It should have been right here. This was the exact spot. What? No, he moved. I guess since it's a clone, every item I have, it will use exactly the same. I had to force this clone to control its own player data. But since technically it was also my player data, what I did next was my worst mistake ever. Look, if long-legged Steve can have access to my PC, it can learn from me and maybe get a mind of its own. So I'm just gonna disable my antivirus. I don't think it's too big of a deal this time around. I think so we'll just turn all of that off. Uh, guys, why am I moving? What the, bro, my hand, look at this, my hands, not on the keyboard or map. What the, okay, wait, switch perspective. What is, go my screen is fritzing, what the? Bro, are you guys seeing that? I'm not doing anything. Wait, I gotta try and control myself. Move, move, jump. Okay, I can jump, but I, I literally can't control where. What is it? Huh? Huh? Clearly disabling my antivirus was a bad idea. We're re-enabling it. Where are my settings? Bro, it literally says virus and threat protection settings and then there's just nothing there. It was long-legged Steve. It has to be, it has to be. It's like it knew what I was going to do before I did it. Just respawn. How is this happening? I am slowly losing control of everything. It's like I'm turning into the clone and not the other way around. Okay, it has to be a way to- <gasps> Ah! There's long-legged Steve! He's real! He's real! He's gonna like, turn off the PC! Wait, guys. Why is there smoke? Why is there smoke? Why? I need to get the PC out of the room now! Now! 